And he says, without a trace of irony, Oh, you must be the weather girl. <laughs> oh. So I'm staring daggers. He knows he stepped in it, but he's too daft to figure out why. Oh, sorry, weather woman? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I say, well, my doctorate's in atmospheric sciences, so, yeah, I'm the bleeding weather girl, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dry, poor me. some albino Tarka DNA for me? There are techniques for quickening your reflexes. It's all about muscle memory. Continue to practice these techniques and you'll keep your reflexes razor sharp.
These four mementos give me the closure I seek. At the last, may they rest. I am in your debt. You're back. Yeah, well, I was in the neighborhood. Just thought I'd drop by this widget you asked for. The water purifier controller. You found a replacement? More of a refurbishment job. That'll do the trick. Thank you, Jim. I have something for you as well. Answers. Your man, Braddock. There is information on this drive concerning his father. I found it during my explorations of the old bases. You might find it... enlightening. Do with it what you will. <laughs> what do you do now, LaRoche? What, no hug? The men know there's something wrong. It's like they can smell the dishonesty. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Uh, lying to people that trust you ain't supposed to come naturally. Here's hoping we're getting closer to the truth. Class 5 infestation in progress. The are going crazy. We're not equipped to deal with this level of aggression. Please, are you out there? There's been nowhere from you the love of God. Is anyone out there listening? Sarah. Sarah, get the boy. What's happening out there? You have to go now. Leave everything else. Just grab the boy and come with me. I wasn't you were born here. Never said. Sir, if we hold out a little longer, more people could. I never knew. General, the evacuation. You listen to me. I'm getting my son out of here, and I'm going now. We don't blast off now. Then nobody will survive. Off. The ship. The ship is leaving. We need to go into the fight. They're leaving us behind. What are we supposed to do now? You left them there. He abandoned the whole colony. Save me. All those people. I'm sure he did what he thought he had to to save his family. He had a duty, Jim, to those people. Dead, every one of them. No chance. No hope. No survivors. No. No, listen. I have to tell you something. There were... Sir, sorry to interrupt, but we have an emergency. Sir, it's urgent. Please respond. I'll take care of it, boss. Jim, come in. The king crab acrid that has been terrorizing the area for months has been spotted in the North Plains. He is public enemy number one. Is that clear? Exterminate on site. I am authorized to credit you maximum bounty for this kill. Roger that. I'll put my hunting cap on. Jim, any reason Mr. Braddock isn't responding to my calls? Is everything all right? He's fine, Jay. Just dealing with some bad news. Give him some breathing room. I think this is right.
deserts. See what that did.
one is actual. You copy? The king is dead. That a boy, Jim. We are well rid of that particular menace. Somehow I knew you would be the one to collect that bounty. I'll let Braddock know. Hey, LaRoche, you got beat by that? It wasn't so tough. Is it an award you want? C'est trois le roi, hein? <laughs> Listen, they're still after us. I should have known they'd never quit. Stop. Stop. Don't worry about them, just keep on talking, all right? You started the story, you better finish it. nearly told Braddock about the survivors. Yes. I nearly did. But I knew it wasn't my secret to share. Though I believed I had seen Braddock's heart that day. That for all his compromises and collaborations, he would never let any harm come to the survivors of the first colony. I had started to think of the first colony survivors as my people. Just as I did the Corona's crew. One family on Earth just to find two more here. I was trying to be loyal to everyone that deserved it. Keeping secrets within secrets. But deep down I knew the situation couldn't stand. It was time to put my cards on the table. To get Zoe Chi and Braddock together. In hopes they could forget the past. And finally heal by helping one another. What are you talking about? Nevik? Yeah, like troops, paramilitary mercenaries. There's a military cruiser docked to the base. There's men with guns everywhere. Major bad vibes. I can't even tell you. Where's Braddock? He's behind closed doors with the guy who seems to be in charge. Don't even get me started on him. I think I heard him asking about you. I didn't know whether to tell you to come in or warn you to stay away. Well, I'm already here. We're going around in circles. I'm here now. We're investigating, and we'll reassess the situation once all the facts are in hand. Ah, Peyton, is it? Thank you for coming. Mr. Braddock, if we could have the room. Pardon me, but this is his office. Jim, don't. Don't make waves. Not now. Looks like you got everyone good and free. 
checked out. That's why you're here. Hmm. I can see why you're so well respected around here. A natural leader. I am here, you could say, to provide perspective. You mean Nevek's perspective? Well, considering the resources we've expended to make this effort possible, one could say that that is the perspective. I don't work for Nevek. Indeed. But you take the credits Nevik pays you, so perhaps I can prevail upon you to hear me out. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll come to realize I'm not here to dismantle Braddock's operation, but to make sure that it counts for something. Why are you here? Your family, correct? I understand that motivation better than you think. So, tell me, Bailey, is there some other priority? Some new agenda that you place ahead of your family's safety? Something more important to you now than ever seeing them again? Of course not. Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here for the human race. Not just for my son's future, but for all the children of Earth to escape extinction. And there is nothing and no one that I will allow to get in my way. That's all. Green, have we uh, located that Dr. Roman yet? Please, my experiments are in a delicate phase. For any controlled demonstration, I simply need more time. You'll have all the time you need, Dr. Kovach. As long as it's not more than 90 minutes. Please, tell Commander Eisenberg I am at his disposal. Whatever he needs. I suggest you keep your mind on your work. 